Hi. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Niklas. Paula. Where are you from? We're from Germany, Hamburg. Oh. You know it? Yes, I know. <laughs> it's a famous place. Okay, great. Is it your first time in Sri Lanka? Yes. How many days you were here? We've been already here for 16 days and we will spend another five here in Hikaduba. So we are one night here in Gale and then yeah, we'll move on. So three weeks in total. Three weeks? Yes. Okay. So why you come to Sri Lanka? Why? What was the reason to come in? Uh, we wanted to go somewhere far away from <laughs> Germany uh, to another continent. We haven't been to uh, Asia before and we thought Sri Lanka would make sense because it's not that big and you can um, travel around easily and we heard or saw, saw some uh, very nice videos online and then okay. we okay. thought let's go. And okay, did you have any culture shock when you first time landed to this country? Mm, no, not at all. Like, they were all super polite when we arrived and they, of course, like, you, we saw on YouTube that like, people are like, coming towards you and they try to sell stuff and with the tuk-tuks but uh, like we were like prepared for that and like knew how to handle it so it was yeah. totally fine. It there. was okay. not a shock but it was a bit overwhelming at first I think because everything was so full and like the traffic is really it's it's a lot but uh, we got used to it quickly. So, yeah. I, I think as uh, people from Europe you are in Sri Lanka getting a lot of like attention from locals like greetings uh, maybe they want to take picture with you. Uh, Anything like this happened to you? Uh, yeah, there was like a funny story in Candy. There was like an old man, and he started talking to us. And in the end, like he wanted to kiss my hand, and then <laughs> it was so, this was super he funny. He gave us so. life advice. Yeah, and, like and a long story life advice. So like, like, what are the most important things in life? And then, <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. super nice. And also. Um, Right now, like half an hour ago, we went to this uh, cricket tournament. There was like a school tournament here and we just went in there and bought some tickets and then um, one guy started inviting us to the VIP section where like the members were sitting and wanted to give us food and everything and wanted to take pictures all the time. Wow, really so, funny. so lovely. Yeah. I think this kind of um, attention you wouldn't get in Germany. No, never. No, no. no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is it like famous destination from Germany to come to Sri Lanka? I think it's getting more famous like at the moment. Like after COVID, like it's getting a lot of attention and everybody's talking like really good about Sri Lanka. And so I think it's getting more and more mm -hmm. famous here. Okay. So do you know any local food that you like? The name? Uh, we ate kotu. Okay. Yeah, like we liked it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like oh. after like a couple of days, it was like too much of the like um, spices. spices. So and also the spices, like we couldn't have like like smell or eat them. Like okay. it was like okay, we need something Western. Pizza and pasta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In it's Germany, you don't eat spicy food, right? No. Not really. Like sometimes when we go like to Asian places, but little spicy. I think it's not like. You can't compare it with here. It's like and yeah, they use different spices. It's like a certain smell. Yes, I agree <laughs> with you. Yeah. We've been to many also Southeast Asian countries, uh -huh. but Sri Lankan spices very spicy and uh, really high fragrance. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm. yeah, but since we arrived like in a more touristic uh, places like uh, Ella and uh, Candy and like here in the south, like it's getting more and more like uh, touristic food, so Western food. <laughs> so it's good for us. Of course, it's a little bit more expensive, but uh, okay. yeah, we like it. Which part of country you found very entertaining for you, like for traveling? Um, I can't really say what uh, part I enjoyed the most because at first we uh, were in the middle of the country in Kandy and Sigiria and everything was more like cultural or we got to know the culture and now we went uh, to the south so and we traveled along the coast like saw the, all the beaches and everything was more touristic so it was nice too mm -hmm. but I like the mixture of both yeah okay sounds good hi guys hi hey, how you doing <laughs> What is your name? I'm Stefan. Uh, Percy. <laughs> Yusuf. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Macedonia. I'm from South Africa. <laughs> Tunisia. Oh, you are guys from different countries? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. so you are traveling together? Yeah, yeah we, we met at university. university. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So is it your first time in Sri Lanka? It's our yeah. first time. How many days you are here? We're going to be here for like eight days in total. Is it your first day? Second. Second, Second day? Yeah, okay, so, so why you come to Sri Lanka? <laughs> well. 
we have a friend who's from here, and we go to our middle Yobu Dhabi, and we're like, it's our last semester, we might as well come here, you know. And it's mad beautiful too, so. Yeah, the beaches are nice, everything, yeah. Okay, yes. what was your first impressions, like, for the first time? It was, it was beautiful, like, when we came, especially, like, at the shoreline, it was really beautiful, I like it, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we drove from Colombo as well to here, so it was, like, a yeah. very nice, It was a scenic view, yeah. So, what did you draw, car? Car, yeah, van. Oh, van, you are yeah. renting car? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what would you say? Is it um, like difficult or easy to rent vehicle in Sri Lanka? It should be easy. I don't, we don't know that much because our front friend who's from here rented it out on yeah. his name, so we don't know how that process went exactly. But it shouldn't be that hard because like, a lot of the places here are accommodating for tourists. Yes, you are uh, right. speak English too. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Uh, what about traffic in Sri Lanka? It is, it is not that bad compared to other South Asian countries. It's not that bad, but it's still like a bit crazy and regulated. It still talks a lot. They're doing way too much. And the blue buses too. They're doing way too much. Well, what would you say about crazy buses? Those blue big buses, I think they're just go too fast, but they're probably like very um, efficient because they get from town to town. So I think also tourists take them. So that's a pretty good thing that people are using public transport too, that you don't see that that much, especially for tourists. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so but would you warn viewers who come to Sri Lanka to take care of that buses? Because I feel like they are so like scary when they pass by. Yeah, they are. I mean, I, w I wouldn't say like take care. It's not something that's extremely dangerous. Like just be mindful as you would usually be in on the street and that's it. Yes. 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 Yep. Okay, great. Did you try any local food? Uh, yeah, we had rice and curry, and we also had kotu tonight, today. Yeah, I, will, I like that. And yeah, the seafood is amazing here. I, I like seafood. Okay, so what about you? What was your first food that you tried and you liked it? I tried here um, spaghetti with uh, seafood, and it was very nice. And apparently in Sri Lanka is very well known for that, so I'm excited like to try out calamari, octopus, and other dishes. Okay. Do you eat spicy food in your countries? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. What about, can you compare spicy in your country and here? I can, I can tolerate the spiciness, but it's a different kind. We just eat like peppers and we don't have like curries the, the same way they, they have uh -huh. here. So it's a bit different, but it's still like, yeah, okay. it's nice. I like okay, it. okay. Uh, how about the prices in Sri Lanka? It's, it's okay, honestly. It's like, I don't know. As for students, for, right? You for students, yeah. it is it is affordable. We, yeah, I think so. Yeah, maybe the tickets here, like the plane tickets, were a bit more expensive. But other than that, for everything here, it is. But I also think that in some some areas, they're very overpriced compared to some other countries, such as Nepal, for example. I think here, like in more touristy areas, like food is more expensive, and other yeah. stuff that you can find for way cheaper elsewhere is more expensive. But it makes sense. You're just like a touristy town. So if you want to be really on budget, you should try to just like try to eat in more local places. If not, then it's not that bad too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Affordable. 